Bhutan is a landlocked country in the eastern Himalayas. It's bordered by China to the north and India to the south. Nepal and Bangladesh are located in proximity to Bhutan, but don't share its land border. The country has a population of over 754,000 people. Bhutan is a constitutional monarchy and uh, Buddhism as a state religion. In this video, I'm going to give you the facts of Bhutan if you'd like to get residency there. Also, if you're making at least $150,000 U.S. dollars a year and or have a net worth at least $1 million U.S., and you'd like to legally get your income taxes to zero or how to get a second passport as quick as three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen here and you'll get new videos automatically. And don't forget to hit the notification bell next to that subscribe button. And number two is I'd like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below and I'll get back with you. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com and ask for some help. All right, now, Bhutanese citizens had visa-free or visa-free on arrival access to 52 countries and territories, ranking the Bhutanese passport 92nd in terms of travel freedom. The GDP per capita is 3,316 U.S. dollars a year. Bhutanese taxes its residents on their worldwide income. Uh, the rates are as follows. Sales tax is 50%. There's a corporate income tax uh, of uh, 25%. The individual income tax is as high as 40%. Now, Bhutan does not allow dual citizenship under its laws. If any uh, Bhutanese acquires the citizenship of a foreign country, their Bhutanese citizenship shall be terminated. Therefore, they uh, uh, shall cease to be a citizen of Bhutan. Now, I'm going to go over naturalization with you. Uh, applicants with one Bhutanese parent must be at least 15 years of age and must have resided in Bhutan at least 15 years is indicated in the census register. Non-Bhutanese applicants must be at least 21 years of age and must have resided in Bhutan at least 20 years, as indicated in the census register, except government employees who need uh, to show a 15-year residency. Okay, now all applicants must demonstrate soundness of mind, the ability to speak, read, and write Zaganga proficiently, which is the language they have there. Uh, they also must have good knowledge of the culture, customs, traditions, and history of Bhutan, good moral character and without any record of imprisonment for criminal offenses in Bhutan or elsewhere, and also no record of having spoken or enacted against the king, country, or people of Bhutan in any matter whatsoever. All right, now, once an applicant forms uh, or, or, or su submitted to the Ministry of uh, Home Affairs uh, and uh, conducts a written and oral test to assess the applicant's proficiency in Zaganga and knowledge of the culture, customs, tradition, and history of Bhutan, uh, he can, you know, apply for citizenship. The decision of the Ministry of Home Affairs on the question of eligibility for naturalization is stated as final and binding. The government also reserves the right to reject any application for naturalization without assigning any reason for that rejection. All right, now the easiest way to get residency in Bhutan is to set up a company or marry a national of the country. All right, now I'm going to give you my evaluation of this residency program that can lead up to citizenship, and it is as follows. Um, this is probably uh, one of the worst residency programs uh, I think I've ever seen before. Uh, they've got one of the, they've got actually the highest sales tax of any country that I've ever run across at 50 percent. And this is on top of an income tax is 40 percent. That's a personal income tax. And number two is these people are already poor with a GDP per capita of 3,316 U.S. dollars a year. So you'd think the government would scrap the income tax, kind of like St. Kitts has done, and allow dual citizenship so big businesses you know, can come in the country uh, you know, and help hire people and, and bring a, a lot of money in there. But I guess they, they hadn't figured this out yet. Uh, also, number three is the passport's horrible with only 52 countries and territories that you can go to visa-free or visa-free on arrival. You also have to learn this language uh, that's, uh, I, I can tell you, I bet it's a very complicated language to learn, but you've got to learn this language before you can get citizenship there. But get this, uh, number five is you've got to reside in the country for 20 years before you can apply for this sorry passport. Uh, and, and then they can reject your application and they don't have to give you any reason to do it. Why they rejected you. Uh, you also don't have any freedom of speech there either. I mean, uh, what more could you ask for this worse? I mean, th this has got every bad element that you want for residency by investment. If you're ever thinking about this country uh, to get residency there and you're thinking about getting citizenship, just scratch it off your list. It's not one that you want. Now, a lot of people wonder, why do I go through countries 
all over the world that maybe in, they, don't, they have crappy residency programs. Well, the reason I do it is everybody thinks maybe the grass is greener somewhere else. I'm trying to compare these countries with countries that have good uh, uh, citizenship programs, such as St. Kitts. St. Kitts has probably got the best all-around program because it allows dual citizenship, no language requirement. Uh, you got uh, English is the main language, no income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax. Uh, it's just got every single check box. I mean, you, you, uh, uh, it's got uh, visa-free travel to the Shenzhen countries. Um, it's, uh, it's just got everything that you want. Uh, and this is why I compare it with a country like St. Kitts, so you can kind of see how all these countries match up to it. Anyway, if you're making at least 150,000 U.S. dollars a year and or have a net worth of at least 1 million U.S., and you want to legally get your income taxes down to zero or to get a second passport as quick as three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen right here, and you'll get new videos as they come out automatically. And don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell next to the subscription button. And number two is I would like to hear from you. If you've got a question or comment, just put it below, and I'll be glad to get back with you. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and hit that top bar where it says apply with us, and then fill out the questions. Uh, and then uh, on the bottom of the questionnaire where it says send it to us, just hit that. And we'll get back with you as soon as we get those, uh, that form there. Uh, we deal with a lot of countries all over the world in citizenship by investment and residency by investment countries that I think you'd be interested to learn about. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.